Since the Cold War, battle tanks have evolved from being simple and light to heavy, modernized and highly mobile with advancements in weaponry and countermeasures. Current tank modernization efforts focus on an immediate future. Many countries have been studying a number of new options for the future and there's only one key non-negotiable requirement. Whatever the new combat tank is, it must be the most deadly thing on the battlefield. Today, the Buzz would like to present the 10 main future battle tanks in the world or tanks which are still under development or at an early stage of their generation. So, let's get started. At number 10 is the M95 Dagman. This tank is an upcoming Croatian main battle tank which is a modernization of the Yugoslav M84 tank which is in turn a variant of the Soviet T-72. The Dagman M95 has not yet entered serial production yet, however two prototypes were ordered by the Croatian government. Armor of this vehicle is the composite Armor Plus Elbit Systems RAK reactive armor and the main armament is a 125mm to a 46M5 smoothbore gun. At number 9 is the Alte, which is a modern main battle tank developed by Otokar with technological assistance and support from Hyundai Rotom of South Korea for the Turkish army and export markets. Armor of this tank include rockets and composite armor and the tank is projected to have a 120mm smoothbore gun and will include CBRN defense elements to protect it from chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear weapons. Secondary weapon includes a 12.7mm stabilized remote control turret and 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. At number 8 is the T90MS. The T90MS is a modernized version of the T90 main battle tank built by Ural Vagansovod. This tank is being proposed for the Russian army and potential export customers. The tank offers superior firepower and protection than that of its predecessor. Modular explosive reactive armor panels are installed and the main armament of this tank is a 125mm to a 46M5 high accuracy gun. It is also armed with a 7.62mm 6P7K anti-aircraft machine gun and can carry 2000 rounds of 7.62mm ammunition and 800 cartridges. BAE Systems has unveiled the proposed upgrade of the British Army's Challenger 2 main battle tank, which is the Black Knight. The Black Knight tank features enhanced night fighting ability, which will enable the gunner on the vehicle to focus on one target while the commander identifies other targets simultaneously. Other enhancements on the Black Knight Challenger 2 will include laser and missile-based protection systems, thermal imaging technology, regenerative power sourcing, active protection system and accelerated fightability. Up next at number 6 is the PL-01. The PL-01 is a proposed tank which was jointly developed by the Obrum of Poland and BAE Systems of the United Kingdom. The vehicle armor has a modular ceramic aramid shell which is designed to provide protection against a range of projectiles. The primary weapon of the PL-01 is a 105mm or 120mm cannon fitted with the unmanned turret in accordance with NATO standards. The cannon will be able to shoot both conventional projectiles and guided anti-tank missiles and secondary armament will include a 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. At number 5, we have the Leclerc Scorpion or XLR which is a modernized version of the French-made Leclerc main battle tank designed and manufactured by the French company Nexter Systems. According to military sources, 198 MBTs will be upgraded from 2020 through 2028. The upgraded Leclerc MBT will have more firepower and protection. Other enhancements include inclusion of new tactical interfaces, new armor packages, RWS turret as well as several additional sensors and grenade launchers. At number 4 is the T-14 Armada which is a next-generation Russian main battle tank which is soon going to be in service. The T-14's crew of three is protected by an internal armored capsule with more than 900mm RHA equivalent. 
Both the chassis and the turret are equipped with a Malekit dual explosive reactor armor system. The main armament of the T-14 is the 125mm smoothbore cannon and the secondary armament consists of 12.7mm cord machine gun with 300 rounds and the 7.62 PKTM machine gun with 1000 rounds. At number 3 is the Leopard 2A7V, which is the modernized version of the Leopard 2A7 main battle tanks proposed to the Bundeswehr by Rheinmetall. This tank features enhanced hull mine protection, air conditioning unit, upper glasses added modular armor and all these modifications and additional equipment has resulted in modifications to the rear of the turret, giving it a new distinct look compared to other Leopard 2 tanks. And now at number 2 is the M1A3 Abrams, which is a modernized version of the M1A2 Abrams. Improvements are to include a lighter 120mm gun, added road wheels with improved suspension, a more durable track, lighter weight armor, long-range precision armaments, and infrared camera and laser detectors. The variant is believed to have a new diesel engine instead of the gas turbine engine used in previous M1 variants. And now at the number one spot is none other than Leopard 3. The Leopard 3, also known as Main Ground Combat System, is a project by France and Germany to replace their currently deployed Legler tank and Leopard 2 main battle tanks. The first step will be to upgrade the Leopard 2 with a new digital turret core system, new situational awareness system and an active defense system. The tank will also need a new high-pressure 120mm cannon and new ammunition. Well that's it guys for today, we hope you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of our new videos. Thank you guys for viewing in, bye bye.